me at the place tonight. Close! So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Sorry. Let's sit up. Here's the plan. All right, Trevor. Yeah? I want you in this position up here. Yeah, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah? I'm gonna be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley, in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes' guy. It's all a little hole for home. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right, the masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, go.
All right, T. I'm in position. What's the ETA? There they are. Incoming. Get ready to do your thing. Michael, you better get on your way. Get moving, Em. Across both lanes, remember. Ready, Frank. Sanitation aren't meant to be here today. Hey, man, I got these motherfuckers. Snipers, they're going down. 
Man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. 
Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Excuse me! Oh! Help! Somebody help me! Screw you! Ah, oh, crap! You entitled 
piece of shit!
Coolio, baby. It's just a call. Damn it! Okay, I'm calling the police. Oh my god! Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now... He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. 
Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No pole feet. Okay? Let's go. Check every week. Keep at it. <clears throat> Who that? Can't be here. Sights closed, pal. You're about to have an angry orange dude going.
restricted access. Oh. What are you doing here? Hold on, asshole. This is a... has been worried sick. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Physicality to him. Don't die on me. All right, spring cat. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay. Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. No! Tell me where to fly. 
for the promise of strong trucks. I don't want a new deal. So much has to be off the show entirely. But I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well. Your fine wood career just ended before it began, buddy. Space. Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keto. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon? Ha <laughs> ha! What a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> 